Hey Cancers, it's Sunny, and this is your love reading part 2 for December 2016. Okay, I'm hearing breakthrough, breakup. So, I guess it just depends on what's going on, you guys. But keep in mind that these are general readings. I may not talk about your situation nor make sense to you. It'll be alright. Please check your rising, your sun, your moon, and your Venus signs for more accuracy. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out my website, which is www.thesunnyglamour.com. Alright, so let's get into it for <coughs> cancers that are <coughs> single. Are single cancers for December 2016. Some of you guys are tired of the drama. So I am picking up that some of you, it's like you want to be content or maybe you are content with being single and you're focusing more on your future accomplishments. Um, I also feel that some of you, you are going to be aware of maybe hidden talents as well or you will be more aware of your tolerance towards relationships and the things that you can change as well to develop more serious relationships um some of you may be dealing with the pisces or you have pisces in your chart please be careful of you guys like there may be some drinks around you like maybe you're going out a bit more during this time and you just want to have fun so I do feel for some of you, the eggs may be coming back into the picture or, okay, these two cards fell out. These two cards fell out together. Um, or you're just going to be more focused on your goals. But once again, please be careful of any reckless behavior or drinking. I am picking up on reckless driving and DUIs. So not trying to alarm you guys. So, you know, be careful with that energy. Um, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this may be their sun, the moon, and or their rising. Um, or somebody who's very interesting, like flamboyant. And I said for the other reading, some of you may be dealing with um, a guy who's very feminine or bisexual. I feel like there's this like very giddy man like he was around you um he's really nice but i feel like he can be catty at times i hate to say um i also feel that you guys you do need to be careful of people kind of using you because somebody may see you as a big gullible but whatever you focus on or whatever you put the energy into i feel like that's going to manifest so please be careful of you guys just feeling as if you're never going to find love like you're manifesting the negative energy that you're never going to find love so don't put that into your head um and what happened i feel for some of you you may uh you may develop a very serious relationship to the point of engagement within two years some of you may even find somebody interesting in february just give it time all right but i do feel you know that some of you like you're really thinking about the ex or you're thinking about all the disappointments that you had with love so some of you you do need to get over some sort of father issue i am picking up that a father will come back into your life and i feel like you will understand how to make yourself better by this father coming back you guys are definitely dealing with a lot of fire energy but um please be careful of you guys making things bigger than what they are because i am picking up where you are going to be too much into your head or you're going to be kind of mind fucked by somebody who appears to be one way, but they turn out to be something very deceitful. All right. Um, this is going to be a really good time for you guys to just set boundaries with people and set boundaries with, you know, yourself. Don't give yourself up too quickly is what I'm hearing. A big message for some of you. Um, so learn self-control. And if somebody can't respect your space or respect your body, then you're just going to have to let it be what it is. But I do feel like there's going to be a situation that's going to open you up. Okay. But good luck with everything, Cancers. All right. Cancers who are in a relationship. For December 2016. Cancers who are in relationships for December 2016. Some of you are tired of going around in circles with your partner. So I am picking up that you guys need to be careful of just jumping to a conclusion. Okay. It feels like you may be dealing with somebody or you that has trust issues. And I feel like this person may be accusing you of doing things and maybe you're doing this with your partner. But I also feel... Um, 
I feel some of you like you're looking or you wish that your partner was like ride or die like there for you no matter what no questions asked like they got you all day and I feel like you just want more uh out of you want more of this from your partner some of you may be dealing with an air sign Aquarius is Gemini Libra and this may be their sun the moon and or their rising but honestly I feel like a big downfall is going to be you guys just assuming shit and not and just <clears throat> speaking too aggressively so yeah, I am picking up that there's going to be some lessons learned um, with a particular relationship or maybe there may be talks to you guys going your separate ways to be honest somebody who kind of wants out of the relationship um, so you may if you find that your partner is going a bit distant Mm, ask them you know what they want from the relationship and if they want space then maybe you guys just honestly need time because i am picking up that time will make the heart grow fonder so was what i'm hearing or it grow stronger sorry if i said that wrong um but i do feel like there needs to be a, a renewal of the relationship or a new perspective you guys need to definitely gain a new perspective on what is coming forth with this bond some of you may be dealing with past issues. Past issues are definitely coming up. So, there may be talks of separation, honestly. But I feel like you guys, you need to go through a new phase of the relationship. Because things feel stuck or in routine. So, you know, ask yourself, is this person ready to get married? Do I see myself with this person for a long time? Or is this just a little season deal? You guys need to be considerate of, you know, what this relationship has to offer. So I am picking up that there's going to be some issue in regards to money. I hate to say, um, maybe you're spending too much on your partner or your partner wants you to spend money on them all the time. But honestly, you guys are going to have to try to make this relationship work if you truly want to. I feel like the focus is going to be on career or self-improvement and this may stray away from the relationship. Like you aren't really paying close attention to the relationship due to you wanting to improve yourself or focus more on your career. I am picking up that there may be talks of pregnancies for some. Um relationships will get better sooner than later uh just give it time if you want to honestly the best thing for you guys to do is to think about the future and where you see this heading um because right now the present seems a bit weird so yeah and and honestly like allow for your partner to do things for you and if your partner wants you to do more things for for them then i mean just please do that do that i feel like some of you need to stop living in the damn past because this is happening because you have the first two cards are moving in the past direction then we have this reality check that wants you guys to say hey why are you looking towards the past for i also feel for some of you there's an issue where somebody cheated and either you have to deal with it or just end that relationship but I do feel for some of you, there's going to be a really big offer where it may lead into engagement. So that's really sweet. Um, or just really understand if this relationship is truly worth it. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed that. Let's see what's going on for cancers who are married. <clears throat> married cancers for December 2016. I'm picking up tongue twister for some of you okay interesting that card was in the other layout that i did for the first reading so i do feel for some of you you are in a situation where your partner is doing too damn much and i'm hearing this person like they may not directly say this but it's i'm getting this vibe speak when spoken to so maybe your partner is kind of feeling themselves or maybe you are in an abusive relationship like an emotionally and verbally abusive relationship and some of you definitely need to break free from that i do feel that some of you are kind of thinking about divorce or you are currently going through divorce uh process and i feel like for some of you is it's becoming finalized Some of you are, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth with your partner. Like one minute you guys are separated and then you're coming back together. But I feel like honestly this time you guys are, you're, you're deciding to really let it all go. 
However, if you are not dealing with an abusive partner and you don't want to divorce your partner, I do feel like there needs to be more communication. And this person, I don't know why I'm picking up like they need to understand their knowledge or they need to get their information right. Because the things that this person says sometimes is just like, what? Where where'd you get that from? Because I feel like this person, like, they like to debate with you or they like to talk about, like, what's going on in the world. But what they talk about is more of their opinion. And I feel like this can get kind of annoying. So you guys are definitely <clears throat> going to have to gain the strength back in relationships or bring the charm spark back into relationships. Somebody has issues with their back or there needs to be back surgery. All right. Um, I am picking go to their maybe talks of relocating during this time some of you need to forgive your partner or your partner needs to forgive you so some of you may be dealing with an air sign aquarius and gemini libra um or taurus during this time i'm picking up as soon as i said taurus <coughs> i heard taken for granted maybe you feel taken for granted uh taken for granted or vice versa some of you definitely need to put your damn foot down yeah you, some of you kind of let your partner control the relationship okay and I feel like it's time for you to be more independent maybe I feel for some of you like I'm picking up something in regards to like making your own money um, especially if you've been a housewife or a house husband um, you guys just want to do things on your own now <clears throat> to like protect yourself just in case something happens especially if you've been back and forth with your marriage but i am picking up that there will be some power struggles i hate to say um <coughs> excuse me i feel like there may be issues in regards to parenting maybe you guys have different parenting scout uh parenting styles I also feel like there's an issue in regards to smothering or being up under your partner too 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 much there may be some issues in regards to finances like like maybe debt um a loan maybe you're trying to get approved for a loan i see some of you will get approved for a loan but i feel like this is going to cause a lot of financial worries for the relationship to be honest um Honestly, as well, some of you guys need to humble it down. I don't know if somebody's making more money or something, but I just feel like somebody is speak when spoken to or I'm doing this, you don't do this. I just feel like there's just talking down upon somebody and this needs to stop. Do be aware of... um a mistress popping in and out i hate to say or somebody is giving somebody else attention like uh, maybe you may discover that your partner is flirting with somebody on facebook or through text okay um speak up if if this is happening and ironically the devil card popped out so yeah also um just make sure that like you don't feel suffocated in this marriage and that it really makes you happy. And if it doesn't, you know, you have to put yourself first. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I should be back for January. Bye.